Uh, what are the top worst problems that homocysteine causes? By, considered by many and a lot of people in research to be the number one cause of renal failure, chronic renal failure and, and uh, dialysis and everything else. Um, that's a big problem. It's a big problem. Um, God, there's just a whole huge list of things it causes. Hypertension because it hardens arteries. Um, kidney failure, heart attacks and strokes. Also, it's they think it's the main cause of melanoma and uh, and, and and renal carcinoma. Homocysteine um, does not affect you directly. It actually stimulates monocytes to produce two cytokines, interleukin-8, IL-8, and monocyte chemoprotectin-1. They do the dirty work for homocysteine. So I'm gonna tell you, we can't reduce your homocysteine level. It's fixed in place, but we can reduce the cytokine. And uh, that's the key to this whole thing. It's shocking that no one's put all this together. Someone figured out, I can't remember which came first. Someone figured out that, that homocysteine does that cytokine thing it doesn't affect anything directly you don't care where your cytokines are if you're i mean where your homocysteine is if your cytokines are zero you're happy you don't have any pain or inflammation usually by your 40s or 50s you're feeling all this massive pain and inflammation i think it's a big i don't know how big a problem it's going to be with fibromyalgia it may be the big missing piece in the genetic situation um any of those 17 SNPs. um and um, can, if they're homozygous, they're going to cause a high homocysteine level and, and disruption of the transulfuration feather, so you can't detox all that again. Uh, so you can't get rid of excess copper. You can't get rid of a lot of things. Copper is a heavy metal, by the way. Uh, and I love these people going, you should take a lot of copper every day. Really? No, you shouldn't. That's like taking, taking a lot of lead every day or mercury or whatever. Um, and you need a little trace amount.